uh, vlogging, it's, it's twofold. The first part is that um, I haven't been able to, I'm writing a book on the Ganges, and I've been writing it for the past, past five years. So I finished up a book called Calcutta Yoga, which is a history of yoga as it came from the streets of Calcutta uh, out into the whole world. And this particular book um, that I'm writing on the, on the Ganges, in the first third of it, I cover a lot of the history that's in Bengal and, and Calcutta especially. And it's been very difficult to like, figure out, like, how do I put this into a written format? Because there's a lot of photos I want to use to explain things that I'm trying to get across. And, and putting things in print is limited in terms of multimedia. Every photo you put on there, they, they don't want it because it takes up a lot of printing stuff and um, it adds to their cost. So you can only maybe put around 20 photos in a book. Well, I want 20 photos in one chapter. So I was thinking, how, how can I do this? And I, and I realized that watching some other people do what they're doing on YouTube now, that this is a way I can create a playlist that actually replaces the chapters in a book with a video on each one. So that's kind of my overall picture of how I'm going to go about doing this. Um, and so when we reach the Ganges, uh, a lot of material I'll use from before that I've taken photos and recordings and, and, and stories that I've already written. But we'll hope to get some new material as well. We're going to start from Calcutta. Um, I've been to down to the Adiganga, where it's at Ganga Cigar before and, and seen that celebration. So we're from, from Calcutta, we're just going to focus on the Hooghly and then getting up to the Ganges and then up to Varanasi. Hopefully, one of the things I want to do this time that we haven't done, you know, Shashi and I, we, we did a, uh, a motorcycle tour throughout all, all UP from Varanasi up to the Himalayas. So I'm hoping this time that we can try to get on a boat, maybe a canoe, and spend like three or four days on the Ganges and get some stories there. The middle part of the book that I'm writing is uh, um, about modern India. And so I, I, I do stories of some individuals about your guys' age, really, who who I commonly refer to, and I think some of you do as well, is like 90s kids who kind of remember what India was like before, and the vast changes it's underwent in the last 20 years. And so you kind of have a foothold remembering what India was like, but the younger people don't really have that. You know, they only know what India is like since they've been raised, and the kids nowadays, they're not much different anywhere in the world because they all have a mobile phone, they all have access to media from around the world, and so they're really developing into a global, culture rather than you know a, a culture of, of where they're from and their surroundings and so I think some of the rootedness some of the groundedness is, is getting lost and uh, um, and so this is a little bit of the, uh, the story of the middle part of the book and then the last part of the book I go up into the uh, Himalayas I'm based out of, based out of Rishikesh and I, when, I, when we had the lockdown in 2020, I was actually down in South India doing a book tour. Um, this previous book I wrote, Calcutta Yoga. And when, it, when India locked down, I wound up in Rishikesh for six months, just living by the river. It was very quiet, and after about a month, the, the Ganges became pure so much that we could drink from the water. In Hardwar and uh, Rishikesh, which hadn't ha happened maybe for 100 years. So I want to write a bit about like the, the changes that are happening in the Himalayas, um, India's spirituality, my connection to it, uh, the people who are doing yoga there in Rishikesh. And, um, and that's how I think it'll wrap up with going up to the Char Dham. I've done the whole, you know, the pilgrimages to the, the Badranath and Yamanotri, Gangotri and Kedanath. And, uh, I hope someday to go higher, but this is, this is, the book will end at this location, so. That's my, that's my next three months basically in India through April.